Kia ora te whanau, na mihi nui ki a koutou katoa. Thanks for tuning in this afternoon. Hope your long weekend is progressing nicely. E fitiana, tada, the sun is shining on North Harbour Stadium in Tāmaki, Makaurau this afternoon. Auckland is hosting a feast of rugby league over the next couple of days with the 16s Auckland Invitational taking on Aotearoa Whānui, first up today. And also, basically, the rest of the country make up the Whānui, as well as the return of the NZRL Clubs versus Schools feature, which will take place later this afternoon. But today, Ra Wa Hine, it is the women's competition. And we kick start with the under 16s, and later this afternoon, the 18s Clubs versus school. I'm Lavina Good. Joining me in commentary this afternoon is Auckland Rugby League Ambassador TJ Ashford. Let's be honest, showcasing this afternoon the future of rugby league in Aotearoa. Yeah, and our female game is only uh, prospering over the last 12 months too, Lavina, so it's going to be an exciting day uh, for everyone out there today and look forward to uh, two strong clashes uh, from our wahine today. TJ, it's fair to say for this first up clash, there's considerable talent across the park. Let's take a look at the visitors first of all, Whanui. Yeah, a couple of players there to mention is the number one there for Whanui, uh, Anya Clark. She's going to be dynamic out the back there. And then also their lock forward as well, number 13, Trinity Tawane. Um, she's been outstanding at the national youth competition as well. So look for those two players there to be strong on, on debut today. These are the future players of the game. We get an opportunity to assess their talent this afternoon. These players have had a pretty decent warm-up in preparation for this as well. Yeah, and they've just come off the back of a, a week-long tournament as well, so relationships would have been built uh, between the two sides, and uh, all these girls have played against each other over that week as well, so some lifelong friendships being built between the girls, And uh, but it would be an exciting opportunity for them being on the big stage today at a, at a stadium like this out here at QBE. It's an exciting time for them. Let's take a look at the 16s Auckland Invitational lineup for this clash. Yeah, another strong side there as well. A uh, bit of a speed to there, number five, Milan Edemir. Look for her to get some ball into open space today. And also their acting half there, number nine, Mary Jane Title, one of the co-captains for today's clash. And she's very dynamic, very strong, physical out of the acting half. A few youngsters in there as well. Number 20, Soraya Palipali. Keep an eye out for her. She's definitely a Kiwi fern in the making. Um, so it's going to be some good talent on display today. So the 16th Auckland Invitational team consists of players from the Auckland Rugby League teams plus the Region of Origin Development Programme as well as representative teams that include Akarana, counties Manukau and also Auckland. The Akarana Falcons dominating this side with seven representatives. That must come in handy as you prepare for a clash like this. Yeah, it's been good. Like the, the girl, like I said, the girls' game's been massive um, over the last 12 months. It's only grown um, from strength to strength, so it's good to see the New Zealand Rugby League putting on events like today for these girls to continue their development. It is the 16s Invitational Auckland side up against Aotearoa Far Nui, the rest of the country. Well, the Far Nui squad are made up of zonal teams from Northland, upper and mid central zones in the North Island, the South Island, and also Wellington. Rugby League is about to be on show here this afternoon. The fans have turned out. Great to have a taste of footy. It's been a while for some of these fans. It's a gorgeous day here at North Harbour Stadium in Auckland as the players prepare for the last few words of wisdom from their captains. And we may even be in with a treat, TJ. I've heard a rumour that perhaps a haka will be on show, first of all, this afternoon from Whanui. Yeah, well, actually, it's probably more stronger than a rumour, but it's exciting to have them here. They've only been together for the last couple of days, so let's see how uh, this haka turns out. It's a gorgeous afternoon. We'll be pushing temperatures of close to 20 degrees. There it is. There's the challenge from Whanui. The visitors from all over the motu 
setting a challenge out to this Auckland Invitational side in blue as they prepare for this 16s clash. First time ever NZRL has been able to feature this 16s clash between an Auckland Invitational side and the rest of the country. The fans have turned out. The fanfare is just about complete and we'll be gearing up to kick off shortly. TJ, this age grade, 16 years of age, so significant for NZRL in regards to building pathways and development. Yeah, it's actually starting at a younger age now. There's, there's under 12 girls um, being played in the Auckland Rugby League competition. So uh, the growth, like I said, in the last 12 months has been outstanding. So it's good to, you know, have these games on because it's going to give these girls some opportunity to, to develop in the bigger games. Um, and hopefully looking forward to building some like Warriors NRW, NRLW teams as well in the future. Something to get excited about. You are watching the future of... Kiwi Ferns right here on Sky Sport. The man with the whistle will be Liam O'Brien. He will conduct proceedings out there with Jack Fevers and Joseph Green on the sideline. As I mentioned, temperatures of 20 plus, slight wind. Perfect conditions for commentating. I don't know about playing. They're going to get a bit hot. They'll have to hydrate. Yeah, the conditions are a lot better than when I was here a couple of weeks ago for the <laughs> men's final. So um, I'd rather be in the, the sun like it is today than the last time I was here. What are we doing commentating on rugby league when it's not raining and snowing, oh, TJ? Man, there's no, there's no better, better place um, than watching the rugby league on a weekend. So. Safar so Nui kicking off with Invitational on your screens in blue, running from left to right. Staying down the right-hand side of the pitch to kick-start things. Spoke to the coaches of both sides prior to the match. A massive emphasis from both coaches on line speed and defence early. I want to get rid of it. Matopo, number 13, looking for support play, but she was wrapped up well. Great tackle from Naturiongli. Up the middle, that's where she likes to run. Yeah, she was strong down at the National Youth Tournament as well and, and played some big minutes as well and, and look for her to keep attacking those unders lines behind the dummy half as we look. See a shift play here. Sorry, Pali Pali, find some open space. Quick hands early from Auckland Invitational. Not shy to let the pill go. Looking to break this strong defence from Farnui. Kick goes up. Under pressure is Anya Clark. Wrapped up nicely. Good intentions there early from Auckland Invitational. Their first opportunity to defend. Let's see how they go as Anya Clark, one of the South Island Scorpion players, brings it out. Didn't get much movement. Referee saw something we didn't knock on. And the Invitational side want to get rid of it quickly. Early error from Farnui. Yeah, especially on days like today with the, with the heat as well, uh, controlling the ball and getting through your sets is going to be vital for these girls to stay in the contest. And uh, Good opportunity early here for Auckland. Uh, let's see what they can do with the ball, uh, ball down this end of the field. Just a general error there in the play the ball from Far Nui. So they'll be forced to defend 25 metres out from their line. The first scrum of the match. Danny Nicole Gray from Mangari East, the number seven. We'll pass the honours on for passing it in to Riley Parsisi. So here they go down the left-hand side. Looks to be an overlap. Senna's forced to come in early and wrap that ball up. Looking good so far is this Auckland Invitational side. They go blind again. The defence is there for the taking. She'll get lots of attention all day long. Skips it out. Gets it over. First try to the team in blue. That's what happens when you draw in three defenders and manage to pop off an offload. Saraya Palipali, -pali, you said, Nuggety East. She's a big, strong, confident player and has tremendous skills as well, TJ. Yeah, and again, she was one that we highlighted in that pre-game uh, match there as well. And she's just too big, too strong, got a late offload there. And uh, number 21, Sina, as she likes to be known by. Um, again, just proved too strong, close to the line. Burrows down low and opens up the scoring here for Auckland Invitation. Looking to get involved early is Sina Tolei. She's hungry for the ball. She expect her to be involved in just about every single set of six if she gets an opportunity. But they've laid down the marker, has Auckland Invitational with an early try. Just four minutes into the match. 
Looking yeah, field, field position is going to be key in today's game, like I said, with the heat um, playing at the right end of the field. Early error there um, by Whanui. Hopefully they can recover here with the next defensive set and get themselves back into this contest. Looking to add two more to it. Struck it nicely. Fell short just under the black dot, not over the black dot. Room for improvement on the kicking game, but that's fine. It's early in the match. Yeah, I think Danny's miscued it there, and she's another um, prospect that I think that has uh, Kiwi Ferns written all over her as well. So um, look for Danny to bounce back there. She's got a great kicking game normally, so may maybe just miscued it on her first attempt. A bit of nerves maybe, <laughs> Lavina, So Fair enough. Danny Nicole Gray, just small in size, massive in heart, though. She has a big ticker, that girl, and she will tackle all day long as well as orchestrate her teammates across the pitch. Trailing by four, four minutes into the match. Farnui with the kickoff. A little mishandle, but referee Liam O'Brien says that was not back. Good defence there from Taylor Bennett from the Northern Swords. Fundamental Rugby League at the moment for the Auckland Invitational side. This is the NZRL 16's Auckland Invitational versus Aotearoa Whanui, or the rest of the country. It's Auckland 17 taking on the very best from all around the motu. Trying to make inroads, but no way through the defence that time of Molly Byford, the Trident High School superstar. She's pretty good at equestrian as well, but has footy in her blood. Her brother plays rugby, her dad plays rugby, and her mum, Dara, is her biggest fan. So here comes the kick from Invitational, taken nicely at the back this time by Anya Clark. Yeah, that was a really good defensive set there by Farnu as well. Obviously, getting the ball close to halfway, starting their set off well, um, but they need to hold on to the ball in this set and just grind themselves back into this contest. Mistake-free footy is what they're looking for from Farnui in the white jerseys. Percentage play, wait for the opposition to make mistakes. Nice, simple hands and trying to make some yards. So Farnui move up to the halfway mark. Still got a couple of tackles in tow. Trying to make some inroads through the middle, but there's no way through that wall of blue defence at this stage. Opting to go down the left-hand side. They've stacked with players. Could be an overlap if they have quick hands. The pass was off, and it manages to find the sideline. Good start there from Farnui. Just an execution not to be proud of. Yeah, I think it's important that they're um, you know, ending their sets at the right end of the field as well. Lavina, they've got to probably get it in, in, inside the Auckland 20-metre line there and just build a bit of pressure and turn their big girls around as well and tie them out a little bit. But... Um, it was a better, better set then. Uh, probably just need to get to the, the back end of it a little bit better. Excellent tackle that time from Tarokura Leaf. She'll get involved in just about every set if she can. She's not afraid of making 40, 50 tackles in a game. One of their strong forwards, one of the many players from the Wellington Orcas. Six Wellington Orcas in this far early side. And just about all of them are in the pack. Yeah, they were very strong down at um, the, the Girls National Youth Tournament and the inaugural one as well. So. Uh, made the final, did Wellington, and uh, were very strong uh, in that 16s grade. So it's good to see them rewarded for all their hard work. Iwani plays the ball, gets it out to Taito. She's always looking for support, and she'll find it in Tolei. Referee says, we'll just take a second. It was quite a hard hit on number 21 playing in the front row position today. She did manage to score a try a little earlier, did Cena. Yeah, I think that might be a lower leg injury there for Cena as well. So just felt awkward in the tackle. And um, you know, again, I'm pretty sure she had a slight injury down at the National Youth from memory as well. So could be a, an existing niggle that she's got and just re aggravated it maybe. But um, it was actually a good run. She poked her nose through there, found her fronts. And um, Auckland now just um, very, proving difficult to stop through the middle uh, quarter of the field. She's a tremendous player. She's just playing in her second year of rugby league. Powerful, strong, fearless, and they describe her as being a humble giant. She played in the under-14s Elite Bella Hawks competition. They were undefeated throughout 2021, and she also plays a fair bit of tag to keep herself fit. 
Yeah, no, well, that's a, a good thing that we've got up here in Auckland as well, and we spoke about it uh, pre-game as well, down where you, you stay in Otamoto. We, we, love, a, we love tagging Tauranga, mate. Yeah, they got a Kiwi tag module down there. So shout out to Laura and the team that run the module down there for us. But, no, nah, it's massive. It, it keeps the girls and the boys fit over the summer season, and um, the Kiwi tag game is, is just a non-contact version of rugby league pretty much, so that allows the girls and boys to develop their skills a little bit more, which is good. Good to see her on her feet at this stage. Not sure she'll stay out there. We've got arm in arm, and it does look like a lower leg injury. She's got that left knee heavily strapped just, just above the knee on her thigh, and it does look like she'll need tending to on the sideline. So we'll say goodbye for now to our try scorer, Sina Toletli. Won't be long before they bring on a replacement. So having to regroup now is the invitational side. They're still remaining with possession. As referee Liam O'Brien just called a timeout to deal to the injury. Yeah, still a couple uh, tackles up their sleeve here as well for Auckland Invitation. Look for them to get to the back end of their set and, and try and get a either a try or a repeat set here. Some deep in goals here. We down when I was down here with the men's a, a few weeks ago as well. We we found. You know, with the deep end goals that allow us to get get a few repeat sets or a couple of tries because it wasn't as um, shallow as what their ball lines are normally. So look for the girls to try and get a few repeat sets. Here. Some of the kickers and orchestrators will be trying to make the most of that deep in goal line to try and get possession back. Continue with their attack. So yeah, you can hear the cheer for one of the girls coming on here, Giovanna. Big wraps on this young girl as well. Young enough uh, to still play in the under 14s, great as Giovanna, but. Um, good enough to probably play in the under-18s as well, is how strong she is. Keep a look out for Giovanna Suwani, but at the moment they kick on the fourth tackle. Read well that time by Farnui. Great defence, looking to charge them back over the line. Very good defence that time from Auckland Invitational. Farnui now under the pump, five metres out, one tackle in. Managed to make it past the 10 metre line. That's what I might have to do, is push that blue line back and make as many yards as possible before making the most of the kick. Not easy with that defence. Great stuff from the Invitational side in blue. Whanui go right. That time Molly Byford wrapped up by a couple of defenders. She plays the ball quick. They go down the right-hand side again, looking to expose any weakness in defence, but Good there's run. no weakness there. Come back to the middle of the pitch. The ball goes up. Tanya Benat Masoi doesn't take it first time round, but knocks the ball backwards. Referee says, play on with that one. First tackle to Invitational. Yeah, uh, again, uh, at least they got to the end of their set there. That's starting to build some pressure for the Whanui team, so that's a good start for them. Probably needed the kick to go a little bit deeper, as you see Auckland Invitation now already in their half on play two. Elizabeth Nahi ready to play the ball. She'll try and do it quickly. I'll expose the middle of the pitch. Nice decor running there that time from Auckland and pushing the defenders back in white from Whanui. The Whanui side is an Aotearoa Whanui side. Made up of players all over New Zealand, outside of Auckland. Quick hands. Managed to nullify that overlap. Very good tackle from Manaya Blake out wide. Not taken out first time, so she puts the ball up. Does Parsisi. And wrapped up nicely from Farnui. Yeah, another good attacking set there by Auckland Invitation. Turning the ball over at the right end of the field. Trying to build some pressure now with their strong defence and they're muscling up here. And they're going to try and make the most of some fatigue defence now. It's hot out there, rugby league fans. here at North Harbour Stadium. We're coming to you live for this Invitational versus Farnui clash. It's already 20 degrees, might even be pushing close to 21 shortly. And the fatigue just about now, TJ, starts to set in for these players. Yeah, that's that's probably where the mental toughness has got to come into the game. And, and so, like the occasion's going to get to some of these girls as well, being on the big stage like it is. So you tend to zap a little bit of energy that way. So we see a better kick now uh, from the Farnley side. Good kick, need a great chase. Here come the players in white trying to get to the ball first, but instead they're forced to be left to wrap up Taylor Bennett Masoi, who did really, really well to place herself to get that ball. Going down the right side, nice charging run from Invitational. 
Mary Jane Taito. The number nine will be looking to dart as much as possible to make as many yards. She's only slight in figure. She gets heavily involved in the game and can tackle the biggest person on the pitch. Invitational with the ball. Looking for an offload Good and offload. manages to find it. Taito gets it, goes wide. Here comes Invitational. Quick hands will do it. Smashed that time. Acacia Rapana Phillips, South Island number four. Great stuff from the defensive team. One on one defence that time, Manaya Blake wraps up the ball. Looking for options and decide to go with the kick as Invitational. Looking for space and a decent bounce. The kick is only ever as good as the chase. They'll have yeah. to come through, try and keep her in goal to get the ball back. Can the defenders do it? And they do oh, it. She run. gets out over the line, TJ. Great run. And obviously that's, that's the deep in goals there as well. Yeah, they managed to hold up there uh, with the deep in goals. As we see a slight injury for one of the Auckland Invitation girls in the background. But outstanding run there by the fullback, Anya Clark. Talk about great run. What about Indiana, Ronnie Russell, Leah? She was charging down the right-hand side and she wants the ball again. Great run from the bench player that came on for Far Nui. So the invitational side looking and struggling to get back on side. This is the fatigue factor. The kick goes high. I think it'll be taken on the full this time. Oh, over the head of Maso. Chasing her down is Bennett. One on one tackle. Great stuff from Alia McCarthy. They're feeling the pressure this time for the first time in the game is this Auckland Invitational side in blue, dominated by the Akarana Falcon players. They're made up of the Auckland Vulcans as well as County's Manukau. Lots of these players know how they play and they're very, very good friends. Yeah, we're going into a bit of an arm wrestle now with both teams completing a few sets back to back. Uh, it's going to come down to probably a little bit of fatigue as we head into the back end of this first half. And it's going to be the first team that cracks here that might let the door open for the other team. We just passed that halfway mark and it's 4-0 to Auckland over the New Zealand rest of the countryside. Far Nui, far reaching outside of Auckland. What can the Invitational side do? They opt for the kick. This time it's flat and hard. Picked up on the foot of Anya Clark. She regathers it in the blue headgear. Beautiful one-on-one -on -one tackle that time by Riley Parsesi. She goes for it again. That's two from two. She's looking to add to the stats, I think, on tackling. Yeah, that was Milana Demir there that's made those back-to-back -back tackles. So she's one of the speedsters here for the Auckland Invitation. And I can't wait to see her in some open space. It's a 16th clash, but plenty of these players, TJ, are just 14 years of age playing out. Yeah, there's a, uh, again, I could talk a little bit about the Auckland Invitation side here. There's about three or four that are still 14 years of age, but uh, playing well above their age grade at the moment and, and handling the big occasion well as well so far. 35 metres out is the Invitational side from outside of the Auckland team. Kick goes up nice and high. Under it, smothered it, knocked it on, and far knew we get the ball back. What an opportunity for them now, just 20 metres out from their try line. Yeah, some big, uh, good end of sets there to the number six, um, uh, Maria Faulkner-Luke as well. She's been putting the ball up quite high there. I don't know if the sun's been in the eyes of, of a couple of the back three uh, for Auckland Invitation, but um, they've turned the screws. The, the, the pressure's now put on Auckland Invit Invitation. First time that they've uh, had to defend their try line here, so... Let's see if finally we can get themselves on the scoreboard. The sun's always in the eyes when you drop it, TJ. Yeah, yeah, well, it's a good good excuse to look to every now and again, I guess. But <laughs> that was good. Uh, it was Like I said, it was a bit of an arm wrestle there, and it was going to come down to who made the first error. Uh, but it was a, a great execution there by number six, Faulkner Luke. She's had some good kicks already in this first half. Mua Mua feeds the scrum. She's one of the South Island players. Charges up the middle, gets some attention, makes it through five metres short of the line, looking good. Just the first tackle. No one in front of her. No markers. Taking advantage of it is Far Nui. Did she get it down? Referee Liam O'Brien says. I'm pretty sure she was held up. Great run by the halfback from the scrum. Mua Mua. And then when she played the ball, there were no defenders in front of her. So Keshana Rapana Phillips said, I'll try and score that try. Fantastic opportunity here for this 
Aotearoa Whanui team. There's an overlap out there on the left. If they can get the hands out quick, they'll be looking to try and get it to Taylor Bennett. They keep going left. This time, Narawahiahi Rimoni decides to hang on to the ball. Go down the right side. Early kick. Good Is kick. there a chase through? There's a deep try. She gets to the ball first, and the touchy on the side says no. She knocked it over. Great kick. Yeah, it was, and deep in goals there, like I said, it's going to give them a bit, uh, the chasers a bit more opportunity to get the ball, but um, in that case, the chase probably wasn't as good as the kick, so uh, it was a good good attacking set there by Farnoy. They probably needed to get a couple late offloads in there, some second phase play maybe to, uh, you know, just disorientate the defensive line for Auckland Invitation there. An excellent defensive display from the Auckland Invitational side to deny Farnui a try via Rapana Phillips. Had to get right underneath that ball and all of her strength couldn't find any part of it over the line. So they reap the rewards from that defensive effort. And Tarokura Leaf displays her excellent defensive skills. Invitation with the ball. Auckland on your screens, running from left to right, leading 4-0 over the far new side. 14 minutes of play remaining in this first half. 30 minutes each half. 10 minute break and plenty of water on board because it is an absolute scorcher here at the North Harbour Stadium in Tamaki Makoto. So the offload is successful, charging through. They miss. Great run from Title. She's demanding a lot of attention every single time she receives possession. So the kick this time, hey diddle diddle, straight down the middle and wrapped up nicely by Farnui. disruption there. A bit of disagreement as to whether it was a knock-on or the hand was in the ruck. We'll take a closer look at that one, TJ. Yeah, she took the ball well there, but I think it might have just been a loose carry. I don't think there was any intent uh, intent to strip. Um, yeah, kind of just uh, Danny Nicole Gray there, just going in for the <laughs> tackle. Hands up, um, it wasn't Yeah, me. yeah, no, she played it well. No, I actually, again, I, I consider that a loose carry myself, so probably a good call by the on-field official there. And um, Again, they've just turned the, the screws a little bit now. Um, has Auckland invitation. They, they've been defending their line there for the last couple minutes and managed to turn that um, opportunity around to an attacking one. Rugby league fans, you'd like to know, there's no bunker with this coverage. It's a few magpies, not necessarily a bunker. All right, so Auckland Invitational now in the hot seat. 15 metres out, looking to attack down the right-hand side. Nice charging run. Plenty of blue jumpers around if they can manage an offload. The defence is up to it at the moment. They don't seem to be missing any tackles in the later stages of this half to the team in white, Far Nui. Quick hands, option to go down the left-hand side, looking to draw a defender before the offload. Can't afford to miss too many tackles. Sees the line, charges over and celebrates. Yeah, Danny Nicole Gray there just proved too big and powerful, but yeah, she, like I said, she's definitely got uh, future Kiwi Fern written all over her. She's got some great ability as Danny, and she just split the defenders there and just wanted a little bit more. She's a cheeky little thing. Mangari East player put her hands up and said, I did not disrupt the ball at all. And within a minute, she manages to cross for a try to the relief and excitement of her fellow players. We'll take a look at it again. They opt to go down that left-hand side. The middle defenders look to be too wide from each other. That one cutout pass and then the missed tackle from Rapana Phillips gave Danny Nicole Gray a sniff of the line and she was all over it. Yeah, those middle and edge defenders out on that far right for um, Whanui just failed to get up and shut that opportunity down. Um, I feel they could have probably got up a little bit quicker there and, and stopped Danny from getting the ball. Um, but again, that's fatigue sometimes when you're tired. Uh, little errors like that creep up into your game and, and can obviously cause uh, some points being scored against you. So well done to Auckland Invitation for capitalising on that opportunity. To come from a great defensive play, to deny a try and score a try within three minutes is testament to how well this side is working together. Good to see those ball kids out there working tremendously hard. Pukamahi, Tamariki. Not an easy job either. Goes for the kick, tries to add another two points, and the touches go, and no. 
Yeah, she shanked that one again. Uh, I've actually seen Danny kick for the last few years. She's actually quite decent at conversions. You can see there by her response on camera. Um, feels like she's let her side down there, but um, no doubt that she'll pick herself back up for the rest of this contest. So the try scorer, Danny Nicole Gray, unable to convert the extra two points. Ten minutes remaining in the first half of this 16s Auckland Invitational versus Aotearoa Whanui. And it is the team in blue, the home side, the Auckland Invitational leading 8-0. Kicking off will be Whanui. They are desperate to score some points before the halftime break. They are far and few between at this stage. Yeah, I feel they've worked themselves back into the contest, which is good. It's only eight points to nil, so I wouldn't be disheartened about their efforts so far. And um, you know, it's just a couple errors coming off their own line, and we see another error there by Auckland Invitation, which just invi curse, invites them back in there. Well, it's a, it's a great opportunity. They they work, they have to work for the errors, and um, they've, they've done a good job to bounce back. They probably got to string together a few passes here, and just um, you know disrupt the defensive line a little bit for Auckland. Didn't seem to be under too much pressure there, did Talamabal? Kind of had a bit of a snap at it and look at it, and a, someone's coming my way, but the knock-on goes ahead. Great opportunity here for Far Nui in white from the scrum base. Last time this unfolded, Mua Mua nearly scored a try. I wonder if they'll do the same move again from the base of the scrum. Yeah, to this time, she gets rid of it. She finds Rapana Phillips in support. Just 10 metres out is Far Nui looking to secure some points in this match, their first of the game. Quick play, the ball was necessary and was completed. Good defence from Invitational. Yeah, that's that's probably not going to be the way for these girls to open up the score and they need to go two passes wide here. That's Molly Byford, the number eight from Trident High School in Fakatani, wrapped up nicely by the Invitational defenders. She gets up, plays it quick. They opt to go down left. Is an overlap if they can get rid of it. Quick hands might do it. Goes for the inside step over the line. This time not denied. Alia McCarthy says, I'll get it down and I'll take the four points. Yeah, well, that's what I said. It's uh, I probably needed to go a couple passes wide there. If you're, you're playing around the ruck, the Auckland side will just defend that. And um, they didn't, the edges failed to get up and shut that opportunity down there. And, Farno again, back-to-back -back sets on that line, and uh, have come away with their first points with today. They capitalised on a great opportunity out great here pass. to Farnui. Lovely cut-out ball. Also the no-look pass, which was delightful. Nice inside left-footed step, Freddie Fittler style. Yeah, it was actually. He was a strong left-footer. Uh, it was a good opportunity for these girls, and again, um, you know, it's coming down to errors at the moment. There's been three errors. Uh, for both teams at the moment coming off their line and they've eventuated to points, so. So 8-4. Auckland Invitational against the Far Nui Aotearoa side. The Auckland Invitational are a bunch of 17 girls from the Auckland region. They have the Auckland Vulcans, the Akarana Falcons and also the county's Manukau's Stingrays. Whānui are made up of players from the South Island, Mid Central Vipers, the Northern Swords, the Upper Central, and the Wellington Orcas, which make up a large percentage of this team. Just over six minutes remaining in the first half. Trying to bring it within two points. Lydia Faulkner Luke from the Northern Swords. It's a tough one from the sideline. Got the best view of it here, TJ, in or out? I'm backing her. She's had a good kicking game so far today, so wouldn't put it past her slotting it down the middle here. And swings it slightly to the left. So the crystal ball is serving you no longer, TJ. You yeah, picked the no. try. You got yeah, the try. Yeah, but... yeah. I'll, I'll, maybe I can only call tries, eh? <laughs> the, magic, the magic ball doesn't um, yeah, go for the calls on the, the conversions there, but... Now, a good way to bounce back for these girls, though, just before half time. Just five minutes remaining before the half time break. They'll be looking forward to that. They'll get to hydrate. It's pretty hot out here. Great rugby league on display. These are the future of rugby league Wahini in Aotearoa. Black ferns, Kiwi ferns on the way. Great tack. 
inspired by the try. Anui will kick it up a gear. This time, Danica Taitunu from the mid-central Vipers, one of two Vipers players, brings it up. She passes it to her Vipers teammate. Not afraid to get involved is Molly Byford. New to the game of rugby league, only been playing for a year, trying to milk a penalty there, and I don't blame her. Yeah, it was a pretty pretty slow ruck there. They're lucky to uh, not give away a penalty was Auckland invitation. Safanui, three tackles in and past the halfway mark. They'd like to get out to that 42 metre line, and they do. 38 metres from the line, a couple of tackles up their sleeve. But they kick early or try and make a few more inroads. They decide to go straight up the middle via Tiro Kuda Leaf. She's not afraid to take the ball up. Cut out ball goes to the right. The kick comes back to the left. Looking to put those edge players under pressure. It's a long in goal. They didn't want to leave it. The chasers were there. But did not manage to wrap the defender up in the line. So Auckland Invitational in blue on your screens running left to right. Two tackles in and just seven metres out from their try line. Plenty of those players, TJ, are walking at the moment. Yeah, it's been a long first half, especially in this heat as well. As we see a little break there by Gray. She looks to take on the fullback. Great defensive read there by Anya Clark. One-on-one -on -one tackle from Anya Clark. She had to make it or points might have been against her. Tremendous rugby league from Wahine this afternoon. Attempted to keep it alive, but a ball and all tackle. It was impressive stuff from Rahi. So here comes Invitational, the Auckland side. Looking to be the last ones to score before the half-time break. Three minutes remaining. They go for the high kick via Nicole Gray. She manages to make the yards and they'll all get a breather if the ball kids can work tremendously hard to bring that ball in. Yeah, they had a bit of an opportunity down that short side. I thought Danny might have taken that opportunity to run, but uh, probably played the safer card there, got to the kick. Um, and turn the ball over inside their 20. So a good end of set there for Auckland. Um, but a big two minutes uh, coming up for both of these sides. Big afternoon of footy. We've got a short break after this game. We'll have the second half and have a short break. And then we will feature the first ever 18s schools versus clubs match. We've had it before for the boys. That was held a couple of years ago. But that will showcase the future talent as well. And it's a cracker of an afternoon. If you're anywhere near North Harbour, or anywhere in Tamaki Makoto, and you want a taste of rugby league, I recommend you get down here. The atmosphere is sensational, and the footy is very, very good. Farnui with the ball, trailing by four, with two minutes remaining before the first half. Massive cutout pass goes down the left. Does the old, his yours, and it was picked up nicely by her teammate, Luca Bella Natuera Ongle, who is the captain, co-captain of this side. I think that's definitely the way for Farnui to play the rest of this game is just test their arm a little bit, get uh, one or two passes wider of the ruck and just move these big forwards around for the Auckland invitation. Flat kick this time from Faulkner Luke, making the most of that deep dead ball line, crosses it by a couple of inches. Excellent chase by Farnui. That's a sign that a side is showing some confidence. Yeah, both, both sides walk in here. It's a big it's final 60 seconds coming up in the first half. Auckland Invitational with the ball. They go with the tap. Wrapped up nicely by the Whanui defenders, including Trinity Toane, one of the six Wellington Orcas players in the number 13. Bringing the ball out on the left-hand side. A couple of those forwards might need to get involved, but the wingers might even say, I'll take one for you. Keeping it simple is the Invitational team, not wanting to make any errors as the countdown is on for half-time. Less than a minute remaining in the first half of this clash. Nothing in it, just four points with the Auckland Invitational leading 8-4. They'd love to score one more try before half-time. Yeah, I think uh, to, just to stamp the dominance, they have, probably have been the strongest side in the first half, but uh, Farnui keeping themselves in the contest here. We go down the left side. Nice one-on-one -on -one tackle by Farnui. Looks to play the ball quickly, but we're still wrapped up with the ankle and a little bit of dissension in the ranks. It's hot out there. It's hot and spicy. I don't think we'll get a chance to see what happened there, but there was... One of the players was opposed to what happened in the tackle. Yeah, a few players just got tied up, I think, and... Um 
bit of argy bargy. You don't normally see that um, in the Wahine game, but no, knowing, knowing um, Edamir as well, she's not normally like that. She's normally uh, uh, always got a smile on her face. So. Playing for pride are both sides this afternoon. It's the first time ever there's been a 16s NZRL Wahine Invitational Auckland side up against the rest of the country or Aotearoa Whanui. They would love to rewrite the history books by having their teams and their names etched on any of the silverware. I just hope this fixture is around to stay for these girls um, and even the boys for, for tomorrow as well. Like uh, The more representative um, opportunities that we can give to these guys, the better development they get. Um, throughout their rugby league pathway so um, you know we want to make sure that we're keeping more talent um, in New Zealand for a longer period of time as well so it's important for us to have those pathways and opportunities on here for both the Wahine um, and our boys grades as well. So Liam O'Brien said there was something in the tackle the advantage goes to Auckland Invitational this might be their last throw of the dice it's too much time before the half time break they'll make the most of it though and our referee, Liam O'Brien, says, you girls, get a rest. You deserve it. It's only for 10 minutes. You'll be back for the second half. What a cracker of a match here at the North Harbour Stadium. Half time, and Auckland leading Whanui Aotearoa 8-4. We'll be back shortly with highlights of the match. Stay with us on Sky Sport.
Kota Rugby League fans, half time in this Auckland Invitational versus Aotearoa Whanui match, and it's the Auckland side leading eight to four. They dominated proceedings early in the match, but then Whanui managed to come back right from the beginning. They had a point to prove, TJ. Yeah, and again, it was an early start for um, Auckland Invitation. Um, Sarai Pali Pali getting a late offload there uh, for Cena to get in for the opening four points for today's clash. And just too big, too powerful there, close to the line. Got to wrap up the ball. And, um, she dived in low there and uh, got on early points. Yeah, it was a shame that they did lose one of their key players early to the Auckland Invitational team, but it didn't turn them away from the try line. The second try exposed down the right-hand edges as well for Farnui, and I guess that's what they thought would be the inroads throughout the game. Yeah, just uh, again, the outside edges, uh, edge defenders there failing to get up and shut down that, that long shift from Auckland Invitation. And, uh, Danny Nicole Gray is too smart down there close to the try line and, and again extending her lead to eight points to nil. So Whanui were denied a try because they got over the line but didn't manage to get it down. This time it was a magnificent cutout pass and a beautiful left foot step that managed to get them on the board. Yeah, and we said you know, earlier on in the call as well that they're not going to go through Auckland, especially so early on in the game. They probably need to, to go a couple passes wide and you saw there some good show of skill and execution. Nice drawn pass at the end there um, to open up the scoring there for the um, Aotearoa Whanui team. First time this clash has ever been underway. Nothing in it. Auckland Invitational leading Aotearoa Whanui just 8-4. to four. We have 30 minutes of play just after this. It's an absolute cracker. Make sure you stay with us. We'll be back in a moment. Kia ora te whanau. 
thanks for tuning in this afternoon. Hope your long weekend is progressing nicely. Fitiana Tara, the sun is shining gloriously on North Harbour Stadium and Tamaki Makoto as we prepare for the second half of this invitational Auckland versus Aotearoa Fa Nui match. They're all coming out, the ball kids, all three of them, Cooper Dallas and Blair, charging their way for a sense of responsibility. We're also counting down this afternoon for the New Zealand School Girls versus New Zealand Club Girls. That'll be a cracker, but right now we're only halfway through this match. And it's a four-point lead to the Auckland Invitational lead over Aya Tia Roa Whanui. It is an absolute scorcher. It's around 20, 21 degrees here at North Harbour Stadium. The fatigue may settle in for the second half of this clash. Thanks to the NZRL and StreamShot, we love bringing you coverage of Wahini Rugby League. These are the Kiwi Ferns of the future. Some of them are even training with the Kiwi Fern troops. So as we prepare for Here's my little babies. the second half, they've been trained well, TJ Ashford. Yeah, yeah, they've been well today, so it's good to have them down they here. Had, they had no choice but to come and be the ball kids today. And I yeah. tell you, I've seen some ball kids in my time, and these are the best. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, no, they're well trained. They've grown up uh, from pram to now uh, on the footy field, so... Yeah, my girls probably don't want to really be here. They'd rather be out there with their friends, but my son's having a good blast, so that's sure, what counts. I'm sure they're loving it. What Whanui wanted to avoid from the start was a mistake from the kickoff. So you have Auckland Invitational running from right to left on your screens in the blue jerseys, and starting the second half with a kick from Danny Nicole Gray. Her kicking has been on point today, but you would say that was an unforced error putting themselves under the pump early in the second half. Yeah, they actually started the first half like that as well, Lavina, with a couple of drop balls early, and they let Auckland Invitation score uh, quite early on in the piece in the first half, so hopefully they can defend their trial line here um, and just keep this team out a little bit more, but look for Danny to get her hands on the ball early in this uh, contest for the second half. So the halfback from Invitational, Danny Nicole Gray, number seven, doesn't pick the ball out from the scrum. Nice pass to the gap. Taylor Bennett Masoi running into the gap. There's one in and ten out is Auckland Invitational early in the second half. Keeping the ball alive. This time it is Tevita Fusula that comes through with some yards. Good line speed in defence from Farnui. Yeah, they've got a bit of space on the far end of the field here if uh, Auckland can go two passes wide, but they're a bit flat. And not giving themselves an opportunity as we see Mele dive out from uh, dummy half here. Last tackle. What will they do with it? Opt for the kick or go quick through the hands. They go down the right. This is where the space was. If they can pick it up, it's a sure four-pointer. Who gets there first? Is that Tiare out there on the wing? Tiare and Leonga. Leonga might have got the ball down and referee Liam O'Brien says, my touchy said it's a try. I'm going to go with a four-pointer. Great kick. Excellent chase. Yeah, and watching Tiare down at the um, girls' secondary, oh, sorry, the girls' national youth tournament as well. One thing I liked about her was she's very competitive, so she com competed on all, all plays there, and you saw it as we see Danny Nicole Gray shaping up. It was a pretty simple set there by the Auckland Invitation side, and again, great execution on the kick, finding some open space. Uh, too many numbers around the ball there too for Auckland as well. So we see Tiare. I'm giving it to her. I'm giving it to her. So she's extended the lead here early for the Auckland Invitation team, similar to the first half. She's got some wheels, does Tiari and Leo Wongla. She's one of the Glenora Bears players. She can clip it along, even if they didn't go for the kick. I think they might have had an opportunity to put four points down. There was such an overlap of defenders. So from a mistake from the kickoff and a wrong defensive read, the Far Nui Aotearoa visiting side gathered in a group under the posts to talk about where they need to go. Looking to add two points. Hasn't had a great afternoon with the boot in terms of conversions, says Danny Nicole Gray. Let's see if she can break the donut when it comes to two-point conversions at North Harbour Stadium. Lined it up nicely, just didn't have the distance. Yeah, accurate off the boot, but uh, again, 
Probably just lacked a little bit of strength there. It just looks like she's miscuing the conversions a little bit at the moment. There's Nicole Gray, but again, good first set attacking wise for the Auckland Invitation, extending their lead now to 12 points to four. Great start from the side in blue, capitalising on an early mistake. A good thing for the final side, though, they started like this in the first half. They regrouped and they, they uh, built their way back into the contest as well. So they know the blueprint. All they got to do is get themselves back in there with a few completed sets, but it, it starts here with their defensive set. So they'll find themselves defending. Decide to go for the short kick. Don't think it made it the 10 yards. And the referee said it absolutely did not. So not only are they going to defend, they're going to be forced to defend closer to their try line. It'll be a tap from the invitational side from halfway. Fan of the short kick, but it's got to make the distance. Yeah, probably not the time for it as well. They don't need to be chasing points this early in the contest and um, didn't execute it there. And Auckland just need to probably build a little bit of pressure, get through there, back into their set, get a few repeat sets here and apply more pressure. Building pressure from their forwards is the Auckland invitational side, drawing loads of attention. This is their pack. Not looking for the offloads at the moment, just looking to push the defensive line back. They bring it through Ashley Matapu. Yeah, she was very strong at the girls' national youth competition as well. Played some big minutes there for the Akarana Falcons. And she's an, another one with Kiwi Fern potential ridden all over us. She looks to have her into rest here as well. She's looking for the sideline. That's what makes this competition so good, is Kiwi Fern potential out here on show, showcasing their talent in North Harbour Stadium. The Auckland side keeping the ball alive, trying to score some more points. Looks as though Nicole Gray dropped the ball. I don't think it was taken from her. And a sigh of relief for Farnley. Yeah, just looking for uh, too many easy options there was the Auckland side. That they probably just needed to complete their set, build a little bit of pressure, um, and points will come off the back of that. But great defensive effort there by Aotearoa Farnley. Faulkner Luke, the number six from Farnley, getting heavily involved in this match. Just a lot of attention from the defenders, and I'm sure other selectors that are here will be noticing her import. They opt to go slightly down the left-hand side, no way through that defensive line at this stage for Farnui. Liana Liafa Paki from the Wellington Orcas, the number nine, directing her troops back to the middle of the pitch. No way through for Mua Mua, the halfback from. Far Nui. Yeah, she's been strong on a couple of her runs too. Heavily she's had, had a few few good runs out of uh, the scrum bases there uh, uh, as well and almost scored a try in the first half. So look for her to get her hands on the ball a little bit more in this contest. They go for the kick, does Far Nui. Putting the back line of defenders under pressure. But okay, Bennett Marsoi says, I'll eat that one for breakfast. She had loads of time. She gets up and plays it quick. Opted first to go down to the right. No shepherding play there. Makes her way back into the middle of the field. Auckland Invitational with the ball and the lead at this stage. Still over 23 minutes remaining in the second half. Plenty of footy to be played. And if we can see what we saw in the first half from Far Nui, they will claw their way back into the match. Nice little dummy that time from Nicole Gray. They didn't pick up on it. Didn't get rid of it the second time, but tried to sneak another metre forward. Referee Liam O'Brien said, get back and play it, and she did. The kick this time comes from Mary Jane Taito, one of the co-captains for this invitational side. Good chase. Couldn't make the tackle, though. And with the ball, 32 metres out, Zaya Tiaroa Farnui running from left to right on your screens in the white jerseys. They need position. They need position. And to do that, they will have to hang on to the ball. Dummy half run this time. Missed tackle. Managed to make 25 metres. Great charge that time from Farnui. Yeah, and to get a penalty. Outstanding. Some good work there by the back five for um, Aotearoa Farnui getting in there, taking some tough carries there under pressure and um, they already got halfway in three plays as well and then try to get a, a quick play the ball there and earn themselves a penalty. So they've got themselves back into this contest. They might be exposing some weakness in defence perhaps from the invitational side who were looking a little tired in that defensive set. A little bit of laziness from the marker role resulted in a penalty to the side in white. So they've got possession. They needed position. They're securing that. What can they do with the ball? This far new side is... a 
side made up of players 16 years and younger from all over Te Motu. The whole country from the South Island all the way up the top. They've had a good build up to this good tournament. Concept. Need to try and force back that invitational team. At the moment, referee Liam O'Brien does not like what he sees defensively from the Auckland side. Yeah, just some um, second efforts there by the Auckland side. Again, trying to hold them down a little bit too long. But it's actually stemming from their first up contact too, Lavina. They're falling off the first few con uh, first uh, up contact there and allowing them to get quicker play the ball. So it's frustrating Auckland a little bit. A change of momentum at this stage in this game. Farnui in the wide would be looking to try and add some points to the board. Great charge that time from Anya Clark, their fullback in the blue headgear. Plenty of players on the defensive line just in front of the ball player. Molly Byford trying to stretch her way over the line. She'll get up and play it quickly. Farnui go down to the right hand side. Nice little dummy jig, cut out pass, needs some pace, and they find it. They find it in Bailey Ray Edwards, the number 20, the interchange player who's been desperate for the ball, manages to outpace and outsneak her opposing defenders. Yeah, again, they're going to get Auckland on the edges here. This is where they need to go, but it's all started from their forwards, dragging in a few defenders there. And again, it's a situation where they've gone wide. The outside defenders need to get up to the 10 there and apply a bit of pressure. And just poor attempt to tackle there by Edemir. And number 20 getting on the score sheet, Bailey Ray Edwards. Proved too fast, too strong there, close to the line. Gets her first four pointer for today. She had plenty of work to do, did Bailey Edwards. One of the few Northern Swords representatives. She started on the interchange and certainly made an impact since her injection into the game. I think you make a good point there, TJ Ashford, in terms of exposing the fringes defensively when it comes to invitational. I think the message has gone out at half time from the coaching facility, letting those players know if you want to try and beat Auckland, try and run around them a little bit on the outside. Yeah, it's still important that you've got to lay your foundations and your platform up front first. And you saw there um, the Whanui team are taking a few crash plays uh, with their bigger forwards around the middle, dragging in that defensive um, opportunity there for the, the Auckland side, and then they've just seen some space out wide, and Whanui are taking the opportunity while it counted. So. Tough kick here for Keishana Rapana Phillips, right from the sideline, no breeze here at North Harbour Stadium. You can hear a pin drop. Crosses the face of the post. No way they could add two points to the scoreboard. At the moment, it is the Auckland Invitational leading Aotearoa Whanui, 12-8. to eight. The Coaches of the Auckland Invitational side, Bella Tamutu and Tisha Mara, have teamed up. And we've got David Reedy, the coach of the Whanui side, all the way from Otago. Stricter. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Dave was involved in the um, Otago men's side that came up here that played the Auckland Vulcans as well a few weeks ago. Um, so there's some strong coaching pedigree on both sides. And I know I've had a fair bit to do with Bella and Tish over the last few years as well through our representative programs, in particular for our women's grade. So a couple of experienced coaches down there leading these girls around the park as well. As important to have Wahini players as it is to have Wahini coaches as well. Yeah, I think the pathway needs to be built for everyone. So, um, you know, being a male or a female doesn't mean that you're a good coach. You know, you've got to have the ability to get your players up for big games. And, um, you know, anyone can be a great coach if they're willing to put the time in. So it's good um, that we see a few more female um, our quality attributes coming through from our coaching staff. Nice play the ball that time from Tala Tono. Finds her teammate Molly Byford in support. Getting through a whole lot of work is Byford from Trials from Tony Husband. We'll come back to the middle, just far newy. Good yards and smashing tackle. Both sides have lifted it up a gear here this afternoon. Desperate for a victory in this first ever 16s Invitational Auckland versus Whanui Aotearoa match. They go high, she's onside, it's a good kick and the bounce favours Invitational this time. Yeah, lack of energy there from the Auckland Invitation to get around the ball. Uh, they were very lucky there with the bounce and um, great set by Aotearoa Whanui though. They've turned the ball over at the right end of the field. So we see a late offload there. 
Mary Jane Taito is getting through a whole lot of work in that number nine jersey, always looking to make yards and offload if she can, one of the co-captains. That looks to go astray, might have came off the hand of Farnui. Referee says we'll have play on and what a charging run. Yeah, um, Soraya needs to get involved somehow and, and it, it all starts from the halfback. Nicole Gray trying to get into the game a little bit more. She hasn't had too many touches, but you saw there her second touch of the game from what I've noticed, and she's already made a good imprint on there as well. Soraya Pelipeli from Mangari East having an impact in the second row in this second half of the 16s NZRL Invitational versus Whanui Clash. You've got Auckland Invitational on the right in the blue jerseys. The left in the white, you've got Whanui, and in the green shirt, you've got the referee that says knock on. Yeah, I'm not sure if that was at the play the ball there or um, MJ Taito getting a late knock on. I think Nicole Gray's picked up an injury there. Yeah, it's a, a, acting half there. Probably a bit of fatigue. Um, Taito's gone through a lot of work at the moment defensively and on attack. So uh, missed opportunity there from Auckland Invitation. At this stage, Auckland Invitation certainly do not want to lose their halfback, Danny Nicole Gray. She has been instrumental in orchestrating most of the points throughout the first half. The Invitational side, I'd like to keep her out there. Yeah, it looks like she's come off here. I don't know if they're playing one short at the moment, but could be a finger, maybe a dislocation. I know she's actually come back from a broken arm as well this year, so hopefully it's nothing too serious for Danny. Formula Luke to play the ball. Good shot. Ooh, good tackle. Pushing the white jerseys back forwards from Auckland Invitational. Shine taking it up though. Whanau we need to try and get some yards here to get the ball down the other end of the pitch so they can score some points. Going down in the ball, Zaria McCarthy. Try scorer from the first half. She finds her fullback, Anya Clark, in support play. Yeah, she's gotten involved quite well on these last couple of sets uh, for the Aotearoa Whanui team. So, uh, look, they've got the momentum at the moment. They just need to build a bit of pressure and maybe force an error here from the Auckland side. Great run that time from Rimoni. She'll look to get involved as well. The kick goes high. They let it bounce. Might come back to haunt you on the bounce. Great tackle. Kick is only as good as that chase. Yeah, it's actually a penalty here too. It looks like someone's been called off in front of the kicker. So a uh, get out of jail free card there for Auckland invitation. But a big thing for me as well is those effort, you know, as a coach looking at those little effort areas off the ball. Uh, every opportunity that final we've had today is there's been no uh, kick pressure applied there. So just giving them too much time. There was a player in position there to probably uh, put a bit more pressure defensively on her so they don't execute the, the, the kick as well. But just missed opportunities there from the Auckland side. Good refereeing from Liam O'Brien to pick up on the offside player. So they breathe a sigh of relief. Does the Auckland Invitational side in blue. They're leading by four in the second half of this clash. Just 13 and a half minutes to go. Great charging run. Excellent support play from Invitational. They keep the ball alive. This time through Itamiya. She can clip it. Yeah, again, Soraya Pali Pali. She's having another touch here. She needs to definitely get her hands on the ball a little bit more. Um, she's just too big, too powerful at the moment. As you see, another offload from Pali Pali. There's a bit of open space. Pali Pali touted as one of the most magnificent young players in the game at the moment. As you mentioned, she was a little bit fakamara in the first half. A little bit shy to get involved, but has made her presence known. There's so many options out wide for Invitational. And it's a case of who wants to score the try. Did they get it down before the post? I think Liam O'Brien will check with his touchy. The hand goes out. Four points to invitation. Yeah, they've got it there. But again, I'm going to put this uh, try down to Soraya Pali Pali with his strong run on the left-hand flank. Again, proving too big, too powerful. Getting a, a couple offloads there in that attacking set. Uh, giving them a great attacking opportunity. And, and the Auckland invitation side saw a bit of space out on the right edge. As we see here, that was Mele Fiamoy and Galo. With a great run, quick play the ball. Taito, again, they're shifting the ball wide there. The outside defenders just failing to get up and shutting that play down. Matapo with the great late pass there. Had and to do a bit of work to get it down, didn't it? Yeah, it was. That's Elizabeth Nahe too. Got a lot of time for Liz. Uh, goes by the nickname Becky, I think it is, but she's well known by her peers. And um, no, she's a great, well, we spent some time down there at the Auckland Vulcans at the National Girls and she was always a pleasure to deal with. So great try there for Liz. 
So Soraya Palipali also plays in the centres. She was part of the tournament team. In fact, I think named most valuable player. She's played rugby league since the mini grades. Plays first 15 for Auckland girls grammar. Yeah, she plays, she plays for the girl, uh, first 13 for Auckland girls as well. So she's very heavily involved. Her, her dad um, also uh, coaches the Mangere. Uh, team as well, the under 16, so another one coming through the pathway there. And um, that Mangere side actually won um, the national nines for the under 16s this, this year as well. So in Auckland, we um, chose to go with our club. So we held a, a tournament at the start of the year where our, we had a club nines. If you won that, you got to take them to nationals, and Mangere ended up going to win it against the rest of New Zealand. So very strong pedigree as that Mangere's club, uh, run by some great people. And uh, Tash Tasmania and, and Val as well. They've got some great people out at their club doing some, some really good work for the uh, community up there. Great opportunity for these young rugby league Wahini players to showcase their talents and their skills. Great opportunity for rugby league fans across New Zealand to also witness it here live on Sky Sport. Shorter kick this time from Farnui manages to find the sideline. So no penalty, but they won't get the scrum feed. It's almost giving possession away to Auckland Invitational shortly after they scored. Yeah, I'm not sure if they are aware of the rules there. They just kind of let the ball go over the sideline. Um, but yeah, they missed opportunities there for Auckland as well. They need to make sure they get to their, um, complete their set after points. To stay points in this match, Auckland Invitational leading 16-8. Whānui hoping to get their way back from the game. They'll have to work hard for it. They've got possession from the scrum. They go down the right-hand side. As you see, another strong run here. Poked their nose through on this right-hand flank. A few tight defenders out there for the Auckland Invitation side. Um, just bouncing off a few tackles. Another strong run here by Farnui. They're in very good field position at the moment. Hot on attack. Bit of space out wide as well. Here come Farnui charging over the line. How many defenders underneath her? Did she manage to score it? Referee Liam O'Brien says the four defenders managed to hold you up. It was a great defensive effort. Also a very good charging run from Indiana Ronald Russell Leah, one of the Wellington Orcas in the pack. So they remain with possession. This time it's Narawakia Rimoni that says, give me the ball. She plays it quickly and they opt to go down the left-hand side. Under 10 minutes remaining, they'd love to get some points. It looks to be an overlap down the left-hand side. The invitational players swarm in on the outside backs from Farnui. Bailey Ray Edwards plays it quickly. The kick comes off invitational. Not too much pressure on the players and not too much of a chase on the kick. So fatigue certainly setting in this afternoon. We're coming to you live from the North Harbour Stadium. It's about 21 degrees outside. Just eight and a half minutes or so remaining in this match. It's the first ever NZRL. 16s Wahini Auckland Invitational versus Whanui Aotearoa, which is made up of the rest of the country. A charging run that time from the co captain Mary Jane Taitu. Always looking to pick it up as Danny Nicole Gray. They'll have to hang on to her, they won't want to let her go. Lovely ball in all tackle that time from Keishana Rapana Phillips. Still in possession. And still with the lead is the Auckland Invitational. Beautiful offload, always looking for support. Itaman was there, and she'll go straight under the black dot. You could probably put that down to another try to Soraya Palipali, even though she didn't put the ball down. Yeah, no, again, she's just proved too big, too powerful on that left-hand flank. And I mentioned it earlier, they needed to find a way to try and bring her into the contest. Um, and then, uh, again, she's just found a late offload. And, Playing to the strength of the team, Milan Edemir, one of the quickest on the field today as well. Um, 16 years of age and actually playing um, in the Auckland uh, division first for the for the rugby girls as well and the women's team. So uh, she's got a fair bit of pace as Milan Edemir and she just proved it there to dot down for her first full corner for today. Such a difficult player to tackle with Soraya Palipali. 
And she gets a spring in her step and has momentum behind her. Unless you take her ball and all, she'll always find an opportunity to offload. I'm looking to pick the ball up. There'll always be Milan Itamia. Mount Albert Lions and Maris. She is one of the fastest players out on the pitch. We might actually see a conversion now, TJ. Oh, it's in front, so you'd hope that they'd, they'd get it, but I'm not going to back anyone in at the moment because I put the mocker on the last one. Touchies go up. So another two points that time for Auckland Invitation. It's starting to race away with just under seven minutes remaining in this match. Putting themselves under pressure was the Aotearoa Whanui side, making mistakes early in the second half. Auckland side capitalising. Fans enjoying the sunshine and also enjoying to get a taste of rugby league. I think it's so important to have competitions like this, TJ Ashford, so that we maintain talent in Aotearoa yeah, rather we got, than lose them. We've got to keep up with the growth of the game as well and obviously the women's space has, has you know, grown from strength to strength so it's important that we're still putting these opportunities in place for the girls uh, game as well because it's important they grow and develop with the game. Here comes Invitational. They'll play the ball 30 metres out from their own try line. It's handled at that time and an opportunity here via Anya Clark makes some inroads for Farnui. This is their best chance in the second half to try and score some points. Just two tackles in, 18 metres out from the try line. They'd want to play the ball quickly and try and get it to the edges away from the central defenders. Good charging run that time by Keishana Rapana Phillips. She has been heavily involved, has the number four from Farnui. They play it, and unfortunately, the dummy half did not manage to pick the ball up. Costly error that time for Farnui, having a little look-see down to the left to where your support play was, but forgot to pick the pill up in front of you. So now they're forced to defend. An Auckland Invitational at this first ever 16s clash for Wahini can sense something special today. First of two matches heading your way this afternoon on Sky Sport at the end of these proceedings. We'll have a short break and then at 2 o'clock we will bring you the 18s clubs versus schools match charging down the right-hand side. We look forward to that game at 2 o'clock, TJ. It'll be another absolute classic to have the schools versus clubs. There's no love lost between nah, them. It's going to be another fiery clash as well as we see a loose ball here for Farnui. They'll turn the ball over in there in good field position as well. Still a couple of minutes left in this contest. I'd love to get some points on the board and turn the tide. Would the girls playing in the white jerseys. They make their way up the middle of the pitch, but the defence has been there. Poor carry that time by Rapana Phillips. He's been involved in every set. And here comes Invitational. We give her a little bit of space and she will sniff out that line. She is so fast. Tackle two coming up for Invitational. A little bit of fatigue setting in defensively now. Nice tackle, Molly Byford. One on one with the centre. You'd often back a centre over a prop. She's she's been very very strong defensively. Has the yeah Fakitani name's been called a few, few times as well in this contest. So she's she's been in and amongst it the whole game. And another one for me is the fullback for Auckland Marsoy. She's been in everything. She's taking carries when she's needed to. Return the ball well on kick returns as well, so she's been outstanding today also. Go down the right-hand side of the pitch. Defence is there, 29 metres out from their try line is the Auckland Invitational team. They're leading 22 to 8. They're of confidence about their play at this stage. 20 metres out from the try line. They go up for the kick this time through Pasisi, and it was too big, too long. And not a lot of attacking flair on the boot that time, so... Yeah, a bit of a waste of play there. And goal areas are big, not that big, though. So, um, yeah, just another one. They probably should have put it up in the air just to give them a bit of time to contest that opportunity. Plenty uh, of exhausted players out there, TJ. Yeah, ha yeah, hands on hips, bending over. They're tired. And, and again, I'm not sure that these girls actually play 30 minutes at club level as well at their age. They might do, but 
Um, it's been a long season for these girls as well. Some of them playing rugby league for the first time in their career. So just getting used to the amount of minutes being played. But it's been a good contest today for both of these sides. Um, themselves and their parents should be uh, very proud of their abilities and their performances today. Tanika Talatono to play the ball. They come inside to Anya Clark. Always sneaking around the fringes is the fullback in the blue headgear, trying to make some yards for her side. No way through that defence at this stage. Keeping it simple is the Aotearoa Far Nui side. Hoping that fatigue might be setting in for some of those defenders from Invitational, but at the moment the wall of blue is there and there is no way through. Here comes Rapana Phillips again. Last time she was here, she dropped the ball. This time it's clean. She plays it. They have a marker. The kick goes up. It's a cross-field kick this time from Faulkner Luke. Easily wrapped up and kept alive by Auckland Invitational. Looking nice now is the side in blue, playing with a lot of confidence and a lot of trust in each other as players. Yeah, there's Masui again, heavy on her workload. Getting um, in there, taking some pressure off. And Tiare Liawang has actually been strong with her carries as well. Lavina coming out of it, acting half there, taking a good a few darting runs today. You need it on a day like today, 20 degrees plus. Here she comes again. Can we talk about her enough? Saraya Alipale looking for the support. And who's there? Remia once again. Onto it with the defenders this time. But every single time, Soraya Palipali, the co-captain from Invitational, gets the ball, she creates magic. Yeah, she's had a very big second half. I don't know why they didn't go to her a little bit more in the first half either. So she's had a big second half. She's definitely brought Auckland into this contest a little bit more. Uh, but again, good co-captain's knock as well, leading from the front. So we see a darting run here by Tai Talk. It's the last play. Probably not the play they were looking for, but with their um, leader... Um, off the field at the moment, then in a cold grey, they've just lacked a bit of execution at the back end of their sets as well. Levina. I wonder what Farnui can do with the ball. 40 metres out from 35 metres out from their own try line. On to the second tackle. Referee Liam O'Brien says that'll be it. What a great game of rugby league, and in the end, it was the Auckland Invitational side defeating the Farnui Aotearoa side in this first ever NZRL 16s Wahini clash of this type. The Auckland Invitational side reigned supreme, defeating Whanui 22 to 8. And TJ, it was a really good second half performance from the girls in blue. Yeah, the actual scoreline blew out towards the end there, but um, you know, again, credit to both teams. It's been an outstanding display by everyone that took the field today. And as we see Danny Nicole Gray, Looks to be another serious injury there for Danny. Um, um, it looks like it could might be a broken arm again or something, but uh, hopefully it's not too much of a recovery on that one. But no, it's been outstanding again. It's an opportunity for the girls to display their ability, um, and they've, they've done everyone proud today. So it's a, some good footy being played by all. Danny Nicole Gray, just one of the shining lights for this Auckland Invitational side. The other would have to be, especially in the second half, Soraya Pali Pali, Mangani East superstar she is so fit she is so strong she's an exceptional rugby league player and she showcased her ability in the second half today yeah and to think she's still got a couple of years that she can play in this under 16s grade so can only imagine as she continues her development uh, how far she can go in this career great stuff nzrl 16s invitational versus Farnui. in the end it was the side from auckland too good winning 22 to 8 take a short break stick with us we'll be back later this afternoon with more rugby league action live on sky sports